Namaste and crystal blessings to my earthly, celestial, and elemental soul tribe in this realm and beyond. I'm back in the creek. Nikki here from Nikki and he's at Cosmic Creative. I have to practically drag myself out today, or out from the bed. So how are you all doing? If you ask me, the energies are intense, still intense for me. It has been the last few days. So, uh, so I managed to pick the card yesterday, you know, meditating and said like, yes, I need to do it. But I couldn't, I didn't have the energies to do uh, the video. And uh, for the Lionsgate portal, closing the vortex yesterday uh, being the 12th of August, 2020. So I picked three cards for what we should work on and what we have felt during this um, awesome energetic uh, time frame, which was uh, from 26th of July until yesterday. And um, you can still feel the ripple. Okay, it's not just it's stopped because it's energy. So it is still being pushed out and you can feel the uh, the lingering of the plasmic feel and uh, yeah I use the sacred spirit uh, reading cards um, because it is more of uh, your inner work shadow work consciousness raising vibration so I think it's suitable so I can get um, the universe to speak to us through these beautiful cards by uh, Anna Stark and beautiful illustration by um, Louis Dyer. So I got three cards since uh, the uh, three card reading and this book, sorry for the sniffles, it is still, it was kind of sunny earlier today but it became a little cloudy now. I know it's the Equatorian speaking. Anything below 20 degrees Celsius is sniffles for me. Okay, so just bear with me. And uh, next, okay, so with the three card reading, according this to this book, uh, to this uh, reading card deck. Okay, card one is current situation, and uh, card two would be um, challenge, and card three is action. So, uh, the current situation, the challenge, so current situation is your current position in life, and um, challenge is what is behind you that is still influencing you. You know, so things that we can look into and work on and get right with the flow of this energetic uh, times. And uh, card three, action, is the possible outcome of how to move forward based on current events. Okay, so card one, current situation that I had second time I'm getting the card in this few days is meditation. Okay. I got this. So we will get uh, incorporate the cards together later and see how why this messages came about meditation for current situation and uh, the challenge what is behind us and still influencing. So card uh, two I got was soul fragments. So soul fragments is balance will be restored. Okay. Uh, fragments our soul fragments could be in this lifetime, things in the past that we have to deal with, situations, experiences, or could be past lifetimes or splinted lifetimes. Uh, it's not lifetimes, splinted uh, timelines that we have. Because it's also a saying that when we make important decisions in our lives in this lifetime, during the split of the decision, whether you, know, whether you want to turn right or turn left, or you want to pick the red dress or blue dress, we get, we 
are split. That's what it says, you know, some energetic uh, teachers who go uh, deep healing, soul healing, past life, uh, regression, teaches that every time we make it very serious, not like picking dresses, but other serious uh, decisions in our lives, we are actually split. So the other side of our lives that we have chosen, because sometimes we still think, right, like, um, oh, I should have done this or should I have done that, you know, and we regret. Because that side of our life that chose that path is still going on in that timeline, in that vibration. So fragments or soul fragments could also be that split where we have regretted that not to choosing the other path. So that is the second card. And uh, for the challenge, uh, no, that is the challenge for the second card. And the action, okay, the third card action, I got Dark Knight of the Soul. Life brings new meaning. Okay, this is the action, the third card. So we have meditation, soul fragments, and dark night of the soul. So the current situation. So we will read again, because I did this card like, um, I don't know, two, three days ago. For meditation. Okay, improvements require persistence. Create goals with intention. I'll just go through this quickly. Meditation is an important aspect of spiritual practice. Proven to relieve mental stress, physical pain, and improve a person's outlook on life. Meditation is not bound to religion, culture, or spiritual groups. Anyone can practice meditation, and everyone can receive its benefits. Used and practiced for thousands of years, meditation is often associated with spiritual understanding and enlightenment by achieving direct communication with the supreme being or ultimate reality okay our source creator our higher self our own souls for example the enlightenment that buddha received underneath the body tree that is the, uh, you know, the example using concentrated focus upon the breath sounds visualiz visualizations objects or movement meditation can enhance relaxation strengthen the mind and instigate spiritual growth and self awareness these different meditative practices can be simple in nature or emotionally groundbreaking dependent upon your needs and intentions for these practices you may be feeling stressed anxious or overwhelmed now okay this feeling that i'm expressing is not just individual you know currently the whole world it is it's a collective energy we are all seem to be going through that because of what's happening that i won't mention i'm sure you all know it's not bound to you know locality it's everywhere so we are all going through that some kind of insecurity stress anxieties you know Poor sleep patterns or insomnia are triggered by technology use and require you to detach from the materialism and wants of today. And with all these things that's happening, I'm sure a lot of people are more into, you know, connected to um, tax. Now, I'm using that too. I'm using, not that I'm in favor of, but well, that's where I get my information. Knowing that I'm learning a lot, you know, I just kind of run to a library. I don't have the uh, archives of Alexandria. <laughs> you know, I need to use this gadget run by AI, you know, to to learn, to discover, to uh, so we can run away from that. But if you're going to sit on that tech and uh, and just absorbing all the negativity that is being put out now by the media. If also you know media, you know, the goddess, Medea. She's like a sorceress, you know, goddess of illusion, they call that. So the media puts a lot of illusion. So that depends. You're spending time with your technology, you know, whether it's your phone, computers, all these gadgets, you know, TV, tele, television. What are you absorbing from that? It's very important. Okay, time to detach. And um, 
Right now, meditation holds the answer. Focus on your breath. Reconnect back to self. Where you will have more time and energy for the areas in your life that have been neglected. A form of meditation is required now for you to feel whole once again. Be aware that your mind reflects your physical world. Okay, what's inside reflects is like a mirror. We are actually projectors of our outer world cars. <laughs> I hope it's not too noisy. Because like I said, I'm just five minutes away from home. So, you know, the uh, small little path road that leads down to the uh, Lake Stroshon is not so far away. So you can hear cars. And um, so be aware that your mind reflects your physical world. It is balanced or imbalanced, busy or still, chaotic or calm, noisy or quiet. What's here projects outward. It's already happening outward. Okay, it's not just saying that you're going to sit down and meditate and om. You know, it's not happening. It is happening. Yes. But how are you projecting it? Because the more you are centered, the more you are in tune with your soul, you can walk in the middle of the war zone, like they say, you know. You will not be affected. It's easier said than done, but it is practice. It makes perfect. So physiological and psychological change is taking place. Use meditation to assist in healing, health and well-being goals. Specifically to set intentions and aid physical recovery and influence mind mantras importantly now is the time to focus on your personal health and well-being okay not what you are being told it has to come from here boost our immune system get into the sun but like i hear you know even here we don't get much sun there's so many other ways we can boost it okay there's so many information the age of information, we can find out how we can buy our food, our daily lives, what we speak, what we think, what we see. So it has to be aligned. And the well-being comes a package, mind, body, soul, spirit, or mind, body, spirit, then our soul, you know. So the shadow aspect is when <clears throat> we are not doing this, you know, the adverse reaction could be chaotic, dismissive, emotional detachment. And the sacred crystal for this, like I shared before, it's fluorite. I'm going to get my little magic <laughs> sniffle, <laughs> sniffle buster. And uh, angel assistance for this is Archangel Cassiel, which is for serenity solitude and temperance for those who are into angels and call angels you know for divination and all that you know so it's archangel cassiel and affirmation my mind creates a reflection of my physical world i am at peace so it's a mantra you know if you are at peace then you are at peace like i said things can be exploding and there could be chaos but what's here is important a lot of people are living in serenity, but there's a lot of chaos in here. So, you know, it's sad. A lot of people have beautiful, living in a, such wonderful nature and surrounding, but when the chaos is here and here, you know, your whole world is chaos. It's, it's, it seems chaotic because you're not aligned. So it's important to be peaceful here than your surrounding actually because you cannot control the surrounding but you can control here so peace begins here you know if it's peaceful outside and you're not peaceful here it defeats the purpose so again affirmation for meditation card number one that is uh, that is for the card and situation is my mind creates a reflection of my physical world I am at peace and for the second card here challenge okay what is behind us that is still influencing us okay the challenges that we are facing 
So part two that I got is uh, Soul Fragments, part 33, powerful number. So Soul Fragments, balance will be restored. Reclaim your inner power. So the life of our soul is infinite, and while aspects of the self are never truly lost, they can separate through times of trauma, grief, separation, loss, or refusing to deal with an issue, even like making a decision. Like I said, you know, it can be lost. You feel like when you are split during that moment, it's, you don't feel complete. So the psyche self-preservation causes this illusionary disconnection as it chooses to distance itself from the situation in question. These fragments are merely in places our consciousness has chosen to forget, to spare the emotional turmoil from an intense emotional experience. Recalling these fragments with love, healing, understanding allows the soul to continue moving forward without the individual feeling stuck in the past or unable to get over an issue or event. Empowering and liberating retrieval is recommended if you feel you are missing parts of yourself. Okay? Although sometimes challenging to find, conscious thought and skillful self-awareness is all that is required to recall a soul fragment back to its host. Seek a professional guide if you feel more comfortable. Currently, you may be feeling incomplete, not like yourself, physically flat, <laughs> I feel that, with no motivation, lacking joy in your life, or even, even that you are unable to move forward in life. Okay, I do feel it. I'm just like you. We are all together in this collective energy, it used to affect us individually, but now what's happening collectively in this plane, this earth plane, our dimension, our realm. It's affecting us even more. Okay, so I feel the same way. Don't think that I feel, whoa, yo, let's have a party every day. No. I feel like I have to drag myself and go, and all these thoughts coming in. I have to, like, yeah, repeat the mantras. And, you know, I know because it is just the energies. And I need to center self, you know, go back to self. So right now, your soul needs to reclaim a part of its missing memory. Past trauma that is being held within you is crying out to be healed. Through recollection, you will be able to see the truth and the situation for what it is. Be careful. You are entering a period in which you will be challenged emotionally. Build your resilience and remain objective. Because when we go to... Uh, places that's just too traumatic, you know, uh, memories that we want to uh, forget. It's easier uh, to just forget and bury it, but it bothers us once in a while, though we're not thinking it, but we get emotional, we get all worked up, we can concentrate, because that part is not healed. So when you want to go into that special areas that need to be healed, be careful. Because when, you know, it things that has been buried for 20 years, you know, is uh, being resurrected, it can be painful. So, thread carefully and with love, always. So, build your resilience and remain objective. Fear-based experiences need to be addressed now. Past life regression could be beneficial to create understandings, of phobias, deep-seated fears, or subconscious patterns that have previously controlled areas of our life. Reclaim your power. So yes, I've not done uh, past life regression, but a lot of other emotions that we keep thinking, no, I've never gone through that, but why I'm feeling this, could be from past lives. Okay, so if you have the opportunity to find a very, uh, yeah, trustable uh, practitioner, you know, someone who can do past life regression, go for it. It's a very, very intense, deep healing that can benefit us. And, you know, during this time, during 2020 especially, we need this now. So the shadow aspect of your soul fragments of fear 
shallowness and detachment. And sacred crystals for this is Bodhi stones. Okay, they call the shaman stones and uh, because I, I just discovered these stones too. I think I saw it in Malaysia last year before I left. But when I questioned this guy because it was very interesting looking, you know, it's not really pretty from the outside. He said, well, it's something new in the market. You know, he couldn't explain to me. I did not get it. But yeah, you can uh, browse through and look how these crystals look like if it connects to you. Because these are very, uh, it, it heals us. It's a very ancient vibration, Bodhi stones. So angel assistance for your soul fragments. Guardian Angel Rampel. Okay, clearing karmic debris and uh, recalling soul, uh, lost soul fragments. For those who are into angel divination, is Rampel. I hope I got the angel's name right, Rampel. And the affirmation for your soul fragments is, I am the master of my own mind. I am ready to move on. See, all, all the affirmation is about you. Claiming your power back, you know. Uh, connecting to yourself, it all begins, yes, all inside job. So the affirmation is, I am the master of my own mind. I am ready to move on. Okay, this is the uh, challenge card that we have, the whole soul fragment. So these are the challenges that we are facing now, our fragmental, fragmented souls. I can say souls because, yeah, in one soul but fragmented you know in this realm the next the other realms uh, the split realms past lives so there's a lot of work the struggle is real I feel yeah and part three for action okay the possible outcome or how to move forward based on current events so part three here I got is dark night of the soul life brings new meaning This is card 11, also a powerful number. Excuse me. Healing crisis. Life brings new meaning. Okay, the dark night of the soul. Okay, maybe you can hear that. It's a little twin engine aircraft, I guess. Fly safe. So dark night of the soul is a deep-seated human experience that can be deeply traumatic, filled with sadness and melancholy. This is an incred incredibly trying time in the human experience. I'm sure a lot of all of us have gone through that in some time of our life, you know, in this lifetime. So one filled with constant emotional turmoil, feeling of loss, instability and darkness. Sometimes the most insignificant event can spiral in an individual into a dark night experience. Like the straw that broke the camel's back, your soul has said enough is enough. It may seem as if the world may be ending, but just as night turns into day, it is a cycle of renewal. Now you are becoming more aware of the ego and how it comes into play with your emotions your physical drive and motivation and how others interact with you. It can be a scary experience. Just like I saw a um, quote today about how a seed grows, right? If you talk, if you, if you are the seed growing painful, you know, trying to trust yourself out from the ground, everything is dark underneath the ground, you know. But the process of growing, just like all this beautiful nature we see they were all once under the ground in darkness you know if i can if i can verbally exchange their experience they could have said it was so super scary for them to be growing from underground and not knowing what's happening and here they are so the process of growing is always not pleasant okay the more awesome our growth is can be more scarier so we always have to uh, don't take it negatively okay this is what the dark night of the soul is nothing to be scared of okay so you may feel as though you are clouded in darkness 
feeling emotionally broken and helpless in your life, feeling alone and isolated, that the world is broken and lost. This lonely, dark space can be difficult to navigate if you have only a limited support network of close friends or family, which I was not gifted. You know, it's not a thing to be proud of, but um, I've always been my own <laughs> navigator. I was not gifted uh, with someone who could guide me in this uh, in this path. So it was quite difficult. It is still because it's still a solitary journey for me. People that I learn from or you know connect to are all from the distance is good. I'm using the AI, the tech, the tech, you know, in a good way for positive connection. So it's good to know that yeah they're there though it's not one on one, not you know right before you, but it's comforting enough. You know? So know that at any time you can reach out and talk to someone to shift through these challenges. Okay, if you have no one, you can always contact me. I'm always here. Like I said, I'm here for humanity. You know, sometimes I go like, hey, what am I doing? You know, but sometimes I need to drag myself out and I have to share it. So if you really, really don't have anyone that is, you know, would understand you in this path, you can always connect me okay contact me explain I'm always here you're not alone right now you may be experiencing feelings of deep depression melancholy and sadness that a part of you has been lost to the world never to be seen or heard from again however this is far from the truth nothing is ever truly lost we just outgrow our own surroundings, environment, and personal interest. Like the earth cycle of the night, it is always darkest just before the dawn. Know that you will be emerging soon with a new lease on life. The greater understanding of who you are as an individual. View this time now as a purification of the senses and spirit. You must face hidden memories, concerns or stories that are lying beneath the surface. If you wish to emerge enlightened, forever transformed by your experience, stop and surrender to the universe. And also sometimes, you know, it's not just one dark night of the soul. Sometimes we go through many, you know, different intensity, but like I said, until we leave this realm physically, we never stop learning. We never stop healing. So don't say, oh, I just went through a dark night of soul, another one. Because there are so many other areas that it's not dealt with. So it may reemerge. Okay, and um, stop and surrender to the universe. So the shadow aspect is refusal to accept change, passive-aggressive, fighting for control. We can see it's happening in this world. Now, your outer world, the chaos, this is the adverse reaction. So this dark night of the soul now, whatever that I read, is not only individual, the whole earth realm is experiencing. The earth herself, you know, the vibration is experiencing its own dark night of the soul. Okay, because it's a collective. So we are going through. It, painful it may seem, it's a purification. Okay, it's a purification process, alchemy. We're going through an alchemical process now. And uh, the sacred crystal for this is hematite. If you haven't seen hematite, I don't have it here. <laughs> yeah, it's in Portugal. Can you imagine all my crystals are there? So you can browse. You know, hematite is, um, in the raw form, it's a different color. But once it's polished and uh, tumbled, it is more grayish, metallic looking uh, mineral so the angel assistance is Archangel Raguel or Raguel conflict resolution inner harmony and the affirmation is I accept and create positive actions through the cycle of change okay nothing you know you cannot achieve something or go forward in growth if there's no change So, 
I accept and create positive actions through the cycle of change. There's another, oh, that should be the train. Hmm, we've heard planes, train, car. I do enjoy here, you know, I don't have to go far out. It's just five minutes from home and, you know, there's a little creek, but yeah, sometimes we get man-made noises. <laughs> Apologies for that. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, you know, enjoy the video that I made in this little creek and little nature with the elementals. I'm sure they're here joining us. So this is, uh, yeah, the third card for action. So now we know meditation. So we had we have meditation. Soul fragments, dark night of the soul. Okay, dark night of the soul. Whether we are going through now individually or collectively, this earth realm, and also our soul fragments. Because if we have not dealt with our soul fragments, we can go through this quite intensely. Okay, it's all connected. Healing our soul fragments, being into this dark night of the soul journey, and of course the most powerful, the meditation. It's three. And it all comes down to connecting to your soul, to the source, to everything energetically because the energy has been intense because with this Lion Gates portal or whichever module that you follow we know a lot of upgrade that has been happening to us cellularly they say the light body or the rainbow light body you know the crystalline body a lot of people have uh, for me I don't have much other but lightheadedness like dizzy and my current mode for this whole week or it's been there for a week now I think you know it's like stay in bed okay I just want to roll in bed I don't want to face the world but well life goes on <laughs> need to go out run some errands do the cooking feed my kitty feed my significant other so so I hope you enjoy it and if you have any other questions you're free to ask me you know if you don't want to talk to, please connect with me. And I hope uh, this kind of helped you. Like I said, we all are going through the same thing. And I feel you. So thank you for joining me today. Celestial blessings and love as always. Namaste in Lakesh. Love you all.